this is a uh, short video introduction on using Circa Home Developer for the first time. So we've um, downloaded uh, or accessed our file and it's a zip file. If we double click on the zip folder we can see our program is hidden inside. If we double click on that it will open it up. Now Circa is a large file, uh, it has a large database and the uh, database will take a few seconds to uh, load up. Uh, when it does so it will take us to a home screen and as we can see um, there are various sort of shortcut buttons here but first of all the most important thing is to just have a look at the terms and conditions by clicking on this link here and if we accept those we tick the box and uh, that enables the program to work otherwise it uh, will not do so. Um, there are two models there's a Circa Home Developer Detailed Cash Flow Appraisal Model and there's an abbreviated appraisal model. Um, we won't cover that in this video we're just going to look at the uh, detailed uh, cash flow version so if we click on that button it takes us to a contents and section links and as we hover over these uh, individual lines we can see that we can click on them they'll take us through to the various sections or the various subsections um, which contain parts that we can um, look at uh, specific areas in more detail which then feed through to the main section there are 18 sections here and then there's a 19th section which is a progress tracker. All the sections 1 to 18 uh, are actually used to help us arrive at a value of a particular piece of land and also all of the individual component parts of building a house including the financing, professional fees and many other um, areas. So for this particular first video we're just going to concentrate on three areas. We're going to look at the development address section the outline section and then the market value section. So let's make a start. Let's just click on that particular line and it takes us through to the first page, page one. And we can see that there are some grey boxes. And if we double click inside those, we can edit the contents there. And we can uh, add specific uh, address for our particular uh, plot that we're looking at. Um, one of the most important parts of this is a post postcode because further on in the program we're going to be uh, able to use online resources that um, are referenced or accessed by reference to the postcode so we can double click on there and update that um, bearing in mind that not every plot of land will have been allocated a postcode in no circumstances if you can find a postcode for a nearby area that will um, help the uh, appraisal process. So let's just use one of the backwards or forwards to go to the next section or previous section. Let's go to the next section. So we can see that our address has found its way onto the top right there as it does so on all the pages that we can print. And then here we can see that we have some more grey boxes and if we click on those we can see that um, there's a drop down list that, that um, can be accessed and this enables enables us to update the database and choose different options uh, of what we can do so here we can change the uh, particular model that we're looking at we can look at a detached house or a terraced house or a bungalow or a semi-detached property and as we update these the uh, details just to the right here what the database will then um, update itself to um, uh, co coordinate with the options that are chosen. So we've got a three bedroom bungalow um, that's the size of the um, internal area and this is the plot size that we um, consider is relevant for this type of property and as we update these or make these or change these we can see that all of these things uh, change. Now the plot area doesn't mean a maximum or minimum it's just something that is deemed um, applicable for this type of size of property that is chosen. So we can choose a different type of property, we can choose the size and as we do that we can see again that the details here will change. So let's just choose a med detached house, medium size, average finish and then we'll click on to the next section. Now this is one of the most important sections in a program. We can see that we have um, a uh, market value for a for a particular property and you can see here that the corresponding value appears here as it does so on all of the pages so if we double click on there we can update the figures now um, what we need to do now is really find 
um, the market value for a four bedroom detached house of average quality in the particular postcode area that you've chosen. So to do that, if you look to the middle of the page on the left hand side you can see a red arrow and that's pointing to a cross and you'll see these uh, throughout the model. This particular uh, drop down list um, opens up a section which has online resources that are referenced back to the postcode that we've entered in or we can use an alternative postcode here. So let's just have a look and uh, make a start. Um, if we go on to uh, the internet um, and we can search for um, properties that have <coughs> been sold in the area and have found their way to the land registry and you can see that this particular search engine, there are many that do uh, similar things, uh, has brought up the um, previous history of sold properties um, for that particular postcode and it gives us the street address, how much it was sold for, a particular property was sold for and on what day and we can see here um, that these are very similar properties but the dates must might be quite its way out so we need to be careful but it's a useful guide. The other thing we can do is to use uh, property search engines, there are a number of them available and if we click on this particular one here it takes us through and we can see what properties are being marketed at the moment and sometimes they have ones that have actually been uh, sold and probably subject to contracts have not been completed yet but we can we can take a look and we see that four bed detached house and we've got some idea of uh, prices in this particular area gives us an indication again um, one of the things we can do now is I mean, there's lots of resources that we can use to help us arrive at a market value one of the things we can do is just um, call local estate agents and um, click on there will give us a search um, of local estate agents that are near that particular postcode and we can <coughs> give them a call um, and uh, bearing in mind you may not want to give them the specific details of a plot um, but they will give you an idea of um, how much uh, properties are being sold for and how long things are taking to move and um, we've got their details now that we can give them a call further on to help us buy or sell a particular um, plot of land or um, a completed house. So that helps us arrive at a particular value so we can again double click on here and we can update our uh, assessments of what we think the value will be and you can see that that's just found its way over here uh, to a summary. So the summary is divided into three main sections the development costs which are the physical costs to build the property including all the sundry costs that go with that so that will be professional fees, there will be local authority costs, um, it will be interest charges and any, any costs that we incur in obtaining finance, a developer's profit and also and then what's left is a budget um, that we have to either um, buy the land for or a budget um, gives us an idea of how much something, um, how much piece of land uh, will generate in revenue. So um, um, this is a very, very sort of early uh, stage assessment. If we click on the uh, land acquisition budget section there, it takes us through to the summary. And these are all of the database options that have been reconfigured for a four bed um, detached property. Um, and uh, the type of quality and we can see that it's allocated these types of costs for all these particular sections. Now bearing in mind that this is an early stage uh, model uh, appraisal so if we uh, would like to then delve into uh, the model in more detail we then need to go and have a look at each individual one of these sections and just make sure that we're happy with the assumptions or update the assumptions that we made. So we've got our market value and then once all the costs have been taken into account what we have is the uh, land acquisition budget we can see there. So um, we've, we've done initial appraisal and we can now exit from this and we can then um, uh, use the save as function to just change the name of the folder so that enables us to then reuse this particular um, standard model again in the future and um, just one last thing just always double check that the version you're using is the most up-to-date version now and you can check that against the, the website at any time. So that's it we've carried out a very first and early stage appraisal of a project um, and um, if we wish we can then delve into that a bit further.